Hey guys, man, as promised, I'm back with another video and I'm gonna be showing you guys the Ames 3000 uh, watt inverter. This is the low frequency, pure sine wave inverter. It's got that 9000 surge for 20 seconds. I'm gonna be putting this in this box. I'm gonna be running the Life PO4 batteries and I can't believe I didn't just grab those. Give me one second. And I'm gonna be using the Headway 38120S Life PO4 batteries. And as you see in my other videos, um, or the last video I was talking about these a little bit, I have got a boatload of these batteries and I'm gonna be using them for these uh, generators. So uh, these cells right here, this is a 100 amp or 10 amp hour cell, and it's gonna produce 100 continuous amps discharge with 150 amp surge. They're an incredible battery, man. That's all I can say about that. Very safe chemistry, a lot of power. You can pretty much do whatever you need to do with it. I'm gonna put a boatload of those batteries in this box with this inverter and a couple of other components this thing will run whatever you want it to run it won't run a whole house ac it just doesn't have the power but it will run a mini split it'll run several window units it'll run your refrigerator it'll run all of your lights in your house it'll run uh, a ton of stuff pretty much this will run a whole house minus your whole house ac this is a one, uh, 120 uh, single phase, so you can't run 220 out of it, but you can run some window units with this thing. So in my last video, I talked about some templates that I've been getting machined and made up, and I've got some of these here. And these are the ones for this particular generator and for this particular box. I'm gonna lay these up here for right now, and then I'm gonna kind of show you guys how these are gonna go in and what I'm gonna be doing with them. You kind of get an idea of how this is all gonna fit in. So anyways, like this guy right here, this is gonna be a, for a 30 amp plug where you can plug this into your, you know, your whole house wired up to your 120. You just put a plug in here, wired up, or you can, you know, put another plug in on the, on the panel of your house. You can run this to your RV, whatever. And that's gonna sit kind of over here like this. So that's where that plug will go on this particular box. And we're not, I'm not gonna necessarily put these on there. This is just a stencil for the most part for that side. This is, this one's pretty cool. This is the front face plate. And this is gonna run the, the uh, LED screen right here. And then the 12 volt stuff, a couple of switches. Uh, a meter is gonna go, this entire square right here is gonna be the LCD or the LED window for the uh, inverter. And then I've got this other plate that'll go right in here. That'll be some AC outlets. I got this other plate that's gonna rock right up in here like so, solar power in, our wind in, DC in, and then we got three more AC outlets up there, some 120 volt outlets. Like I said, this, this box is gonna have everything you need it to have. It's pretty much gonna out surpass anything that's on the market as far as uh, storage capacity is concerned. True um, pure sine wave, low frequency power. The surge is just unheard of. I mean, well, it's not unheard of, but it's in a portable system. You don't see these kinds of things. There's a, I'm going to come back when this thing's completely set up. I'm going to run a ton of lights. I'm going to run a couple of window units, uh, AC units. I'm going to throw a lot at this thing until I trip this. So that's going to be a good, uh, a good video to see. I'm going to have a ton of these headway cells in there. And this thing's going to run your, your whole house for, well, depending on what uh, you know capacity you, you would get it in for an indefinite amount of period of time. And I'm gonna also make the second box that goes on top of this with another uh, 2000 watt inverter and another group of batteries. And so realistically, you'd be looking at 5,000 watts of power in this unit. We're gonna put our uh, DC connections up here. We're gonna have three AC outlets right here. Switch, a switch, a couple of USBs, a couple of 12 volts. We're gonna have our 30 amp. Uh, NEMA 25, I think it is right here, the three three prong twist and lock. Over here, we're gonna have four more AC outlets for the big wall warts or whatever. And that should do what we need it to do for right here. I'm gonna put some diamond plate over the top of this. It's gonna look really cool. I'm gonna start doing the uh, Dremel and cutting these out of here. So here we go. Oh, <laughs> my 
little holes left to go. Come on. I need a tiny little jigsaw. That's what we got to start with here. Voila. Something like that. Like so. Something like that. And there we go. I probably should have had the these come down here for the front just to make it look a little cooler. Maybe we'll add that and then uh, the diamond plate will come all the way down here, at least for this box. Like I said, I'm not going to do a bunch of these boxes, so this is the one, you know, pretty much one of the last ones of these I'll make like this. But anyways, that's how we get around all this plastic. And it looks like I'm going to have to probably even carve these out some more, make them even bigger to get the parts to fit in there and snap in place. But that gives me a rough start. I'm going to win another prize over here. Let me grab it. I showed it in an earlier video. Anybody who's already subscribed, all you need to do, like, subscribe, share, and comment on this video. What are you going to enter to win this little inverter? Anyways, man, you guys stay tuned. Be sure to keep watching. Uh, subscribe, like, and share. Comment on these videos. And uh, I've got so many things coming out. You guys are going to love this.